how to synthesize pure lead nitrate crystals. In the synthesis of lead nitrate, you need to react either lead carbonate or lead metal or lead oxide with nitric acid. It may be concentrated or dilute depending on the one you are doing. This is the lead metal. Then, in reacting lead metal with nitric acid, we need to dilute the nitric acid. The reaction between nitric acid and lead metal is shown there. There won't be any visible reaction if the nitric acid is concentrated. As you can see, there is no much reaction taking place. Therefore, we need to dilute the nitric acid so that the reaction will proceed. Actually, the reaction is a bit exothermic when you dilute the reaction. You can now see there, there is a kind of a steam covering the lead metal inside there. This reaction is not actually a displacement reaction because nitric acid is a strong oxidizing agent such that the hydrogen that could have been released will be oxidized to water. So, the next method is to actually react the lead carbonate with dilute nitric acid and adding more lead metal to the dilute nitric acid the reaction is a bit slow if you want to warm it and diluting the other nitric acid there in the picker follow it up by the addition of lead carbonate effervescent occurs the gas that is evolved here is carbon 4 oxide which will turn lime water milky but in the case of using lead oxide you have to react lead oxide with concentrated nitric acid to give you lead nitrate you see the equation of the reaction there on the screen so the reaction is a bit slow in each case especially with lead metal but with a lead carbonate is more vigorous and with lead oxide and concentrated nitric acid is also vigorous you can see the bubbles there showing that the gas is released but please the reaction between lead metal and uh, dilute nitric acid is not displacement reaction a kind of redox reaction whereby we have a uh, nitrogen 2 oxide is formed and water is formed instead of uh, lead nitrate and uh, hydrogen gas as expected to dryness because I want to get a pure crystal of lead nitrate so it's better I just heat the concentrate then allow to cool and this will induce the formation of crystals of lead nitrate which is very pure then once you take note please that lead nitrate is very poisonous I'm repeating again because it's a soluble compound of lead you hear about lead poisoning the insoluble compounds of lead may be safe but this particular lead nitrate is highly soluble and is unsafe then this filtration you can see I filtered the other one that did not react again the other one I added nitric acid after the first decantation now uh, after the filtration what follows now is to heat to uh, concentrate you see it is nearly 400 ml volume then I'll heat until it gets to 200 I'm sure it will be concentrated by then 
So on heating it gradual, you see how it behaves in the beginning. This one shows that the solution is not yet saturated. So we are heading towards 300 now. You see the solution has come down to 300 from 400 to 300. When it gets closer to 200, like as you can see now, you see how it is behaving. If you start boiling like this, it shows that you have gotten a saturated solution at that temperature. So you bring it down and allow it to cool naturally. I did not cool in a water bath because the crystals form will not be fine enough. I love it when it cools on its own. There will be fine crystals forming gradual. Only that this may last up to the to, to a day or some hours. You can see the pure crystals of lead nitrate forming from the solution. Then I left it to stand for the whole day then on the next day what i did is to now decant off the remaining solution the solution up there is still lead nitrate solution as the test that will frequently follow that the test that will subsequently follow will show you that there is lead nitrate so you have the lead nitrate crystal that's the solid there then i have to scrape the solid out the solid crystals of lead nitrate and just a dry it when you scrape it out you are uh, spread it well on a tie or between feta peppers to get dried up very well you see the crystals are very nice and these crystals are pure okay so uh, the only limitation here is that lead is expensive metal though it's not too expensive so lead nitrate is not all that too cheap but if you want to experiment on this you can uh, learn how to extract lead metal from lead oxide actually by thermal reduction thermal chemical reduction here now i want to test if there is still lead nitrate in the remaining solution i tapped off that is potassium iodide i want to add it to it if it turns yellow that is lead to iodide which will only form in the presence of lead nitrate so i've reacted potassium iodide with lead nitrate it turned yellow showing that there is still enough lead nitrate in the solution i tapped off so i have to heat the concentrate again and allow to cool another crystal will form and i will recover it the same way i did so this is the crystals i am a drying after a drying it is how it is it becomes very dry it's the fine crystal of lead to nitrates so what i do now i will now take it i have to pour it inside the the little container there that is very much pure and not contaminated and after this you can label your sample to be lead nitrate then you can if you suspect that it's not as pure as you want you can uh, recrystallize dissolve in hot water and recrystallize provided you check the solubility product of uh, lead nitrate that's the solubility of lead nitrate in water so that you can know the temperature that the pure crystals will form and you do other after analysis you can now label the percentage purity this is our pure lead nitrate crystal that's very good